can I help you? What? Tell me. <laughs> yeah? Uh, you, you can't get any closer. You can't, you can't be any. Tell me. <laughs> oh my. Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning. Audience. Oh my goodness, do I have a story for you guys, which I'm sure my brother will not mind me sharing. If you guys do not know, my brother and his wife, Danielle, Danielle is the one that's battling cancer. Um, I will put the GoFundMe link down in the video description of this. I know a lot of you guys have asked again about helping. Hey, somebody chewed on that again after dad fixed it? Uh-oh, he's gonna have to fix it again. So anyway, I'm currently watching their dog as normal in their downstate. So my brother calls me from Danielle's phone last night. He lost his phone. He, we have, we all have Android phones. He's doing the track my phone thing. It's saying it's at Meyer. My brother went to Meyer to go buy them a few groceries while they're down there. And that's the only place he went. As he was leaving the parking lot, he realized that it wasn't in, he's got like one of them hip clip things and it wasn't in the clip. So he immediately turned around, searched the whole store for over an hour, couldn't find the phone, ping this, ping the phone. It's in Meyer. can't find it, can't find it. Really long story short, an employee helped him. The store closed. He woke up this morning. His phone was at 2% battery, according to the track my phone thing. So he drove over to the Meyer, pinged it again. It said it was still at Meyer, which meant nobody picked it up and stole it last night. It still had to be in the store. My brother went to the store for four things. And much like me, if we don't write things down, we forget them, so we recite them. <laughs> so he went back to the store, walked to the four places that he went in the store, could not find the phone. As he was leaving, defeated, thinking that's it, the phone's gone, I just don't know where it is, he can't ping it anymore because now it's completely dead, he saw the ice bin where you can buy the bags of ice. And he remembered that as he was leaving the store, he also bought a bag of ice because they don't have a mini fridge in the little hospital room hotel thing that they're staying in. So he bought a bag of ice and he thought, oh my gosh, that's the only place I haven't looked. So he went over to the ice bin, he opened it up, and sure enough, there was his phone inside, frozen, and dead, of course. <laughs> but he took it back to the hotel, warmed it back up, turned it on, and it works! So, that, that was, I told him, I said, you know what? If anything, it's a really good story you get to tell people. <laughs> so my brother found his phone, and uh, yeah, that's how, that's how today started. On a good note, apparently, because my brother found his phone, right? He's like, I have insurance on it, but I, he went to check out last night just to see, you know, if he were to get a new one. And he has insurance on it, but the phone that he has, which I don't remember what he has, I think he has a Samsung Galaxy, it's out of stock everywhere. So he wouldn't have even been able to get that phone replaced anytime soon. So I'm glad he found it. Oh my goodness, Danielle is on what we hope to be her last round of chemo. That's what they're down there for. They're supposed to be getting scans towards the end of the week. So hopefully within the next week or two here, we'll have some good news. So keep your paws crossed. Pray for them, whatever it is you do, positive thoughts, any of that stuff, we'll take it all. And I appreciate all of you that have sent kind words and everything about Danielle and my brother and their family and our family. And yes, I do pass along all the information to them. If you don't know, my brother and Danielle aren't really on social media like we are. You know, they're just not, they just don't do what we do. But trust me, they do see and hear all the comments and things that you guys send and things that you've sent to the P.O. Box and they appreciate all of it. Would you like to go outside? Got all three of you? Yeah. <laughs> I love how Eleanor just like blocks the whole door. Ready? Ooh, it's windy out there. Three, two, one, go! Lack of snow. There's a lot less snow already. Oh, squirrel's going up in the tree. So much less snow. Even from this morning. It's just melting. But it's cold and windy now, so I don't know. Maybe we'll get some more tonight. We'll find out. Can I help you? What? Tell me. <laughs> yeah? Uh, you, you can't get any closer. You can't, you can't be in. Tell me. <laughs> oh my. What else do you have to say, ma'am? Anything else? You got more words than that? Tell me. Tell me. I see your tail going. I know you know what I'm saying. Tell me all about it. And I'm out. What do you think? Do you think it's time to eat lunch? Say we just went outside, showed you that the snow is all melty, and now the food is in the oven, even though it's not cooking in the oven, and we're waiting for it. What's up with you, Memphis? You're not yelling about it today. Have you not figured out that it's in there because I made it while you were outside? Eleanor knows. Look, she hasn't even come back yet. Eleanor! 
Is Eleanor gonna be the one to tell us that it's done? She just might be. Oh, you're back. Do you have anything else to say? <laughs> She's like, yeah, let me jump on you. Yeah, let me squish you. Hey, ma'am, I'm not too honorable. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. I, you, know, you don't need to lick me either. You don't. Hi. What is this? Super up close Eleanor. Hi. All right. Well, now that you've wooed enough, you have informed Memphis that the food is indeed in there. Wait, you're in Memphis's spot. Memphis? She's in your spot. What do you think about that? Is it in here? It says eight minutes still. It's in here. You got eight minutes. You want to peek? You want to peek? Oh, look. There's your lunch. It's in there, but you gotta wait eight minutes. Oh, here comes Kira, the only time she's not afraid of the oven. <laughs> it's because it's not on. So yeah, it's not on, guys. I know this. I'm smart. I know it's not on. Are you gonna yell about it, Memphis? Or are you gonna be quiet about it today? Oh, I thought so. Yeah, is it in there? <coughs> yeah? Did you just figure it out? You just figure out it's in there? She's like, I'm only yelling a little bit. You still got like six minutes, ma'am. You still, you can stare all you want. It's not gonna make time go by faster. <laughs> what do you think, Memphis? Look at this. She's like, it's in here, guys. It's in here. Yeah, it's in there. I know it's in there. I put it in there. It's coming out in a few minutes, I swear. You're, you're not supposed to jump. I'm just saying, it's unnecessary. She's like, I don't know, it's very necessary until you put my food down. You're not supposed to jump. So like, don't tell me what to do. I'm doing it anyway. Okay, let me put it down. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. Hold on. I know. I love that you're so excited for it. Okay, Memphis has hers. Come on, Kira. Back. Back. You gotta come back here. Ready? See if I can do this with one hand. I can't. Okay, you got yours. Ready? Let's see if you can do it. Come here. I did now what I said. Okay. Ready? Lay down. Good job. You see that? I didn't have to bend down to get her to lay down. Okay, ready? Leave it. Ah, ah. Back up. Sit. Lay down. This is what I said. Lay down. Good job. Leave it. That's the best face. Take it. <laughs> I gave her the hand signal before I said take it, but she knew what I meant. They're having their dinner. They're happy as can be. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You girls ready to go outside? I know. I wasn't gone that long. It's uh, super windy out. It's pretty cold and it's starting to snow. Will there be more snow in the morning? We'll find out in the morning. Holy cow, it's so windy. And now it feels like winter. Hi, happy girl. Hi, happy girl. All right, I came over to feed Sadie and I brought her a couple of extra toys from the girl's basket. We'll see what she thinks. I brought her one of these once before and I noticed when I was here the other day that she tore it up. <laughs> so she doesn't know I'm here yet to see if I can open the door and surprise her. See where she's at. Oh, there's the purple bunny I gave her quite a while ago. She still has that one. Where is the Sadie girl? Where Hi, Sadie girl, look! I got you a toy! It's like, whoa, for me? I got you two toys! I know which one, which one do you take? Hi, <laughs> Sadie. Hi, Sadie girl. Does that make you happy? It's like, oh my gosh, two new toys? So we'll actually go, my brother redid his floors in the house, so it's all hard floors now, but there's still carpet in there and in the other room, so we play in there. Yeah. Oh, you're like, I, I'm in here in the carpeted room, and now I got my toy. Don't you need to go outside? Do you want to have dinner? She's like, nope, I got a new toy, and now I'm going to play with it. I'll throw it for you, I swear. So Sadie ate her dinner and she went outside and we played with her toy for a little bit. And then usually what I do is I actually hang out with her for a little bit. Sometimes she'll come and snuggle on the couch with me. Sometimes she'll snuggle on the floor right here in front of me. And I usually hang out for an hour at least until she falls asleep. And then I leave and then I come back. So she's not super lonely. And I come over here multiple times a day. So she actually does pretty good. And my brother and Danielle aren't going to be gone too long, thankfully. They're just down there doing, like I said earlier, what we hope will be the last round of chemo. Paws crossed. Sadie's sleeping, so I'm probably gonna take off here pretty soon. And, oh my goodness. So this is what I've been doing all day today. Uh, this video will actually go up after the live stream goes up. But this is all of the packages that you guys sent for the card exchange. And then 
all the cards that you guys sent are in this box here, which, oh my gosh, I don't think I can say thank you enough to you guys for how amazing you are. I think we're just over 500 sent out right now. I do have to go to the post office today and get whatever is left, but for now, I'm ready to do the live stream. I got three more days of post office pickup, and then... We're doing the live stream on Saturday, which like I said, by the time you guys see this, it will probably have already happened. So again, that's another reminder. Make sure that you're following us over and gone to the Snow Dogs and you have notifications turned on, click the bell, all the things, because how else will you know when we upload over there? We think, ma'am, are you ready to open some stuff? Come on, yeah, I know you are. You're like, mom, I'm gonna guard all these boxes. All of these boxes belong to me. Yes, I know, all the boxes belong to you as always. Seniority rules, we know. <laughs> So many boxes! Oh, so anyway, pretty much the rest of last evening, we worked on this. Jamie and Greg stuffed envelopes for me, so the cards are in the mail. Oh my gosh, thank you so much to Jamie and Greg for helping me this year. This, it's such a huge task every year. You guys don't even understand how much work this is, but it's worth it, and I love doing it every year. Even though I don't love doing it every year, I still love doing it every year. So with that, we are going to go ahead and call it a night. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Good night, partyers. Kira says, I'm going to sleep in the living room. I don't want anything to do with you guys. Whatever, Kira. Whatever.